Hello, Lucky Clues. This is Third Aficionados. Mess 5150 here. I am racing to FYE in um, in Southern California to try and get the Marty McFly pop. And uh, so I found out the one FYE that's in my area. I had to go to work today. And sup, SDS Funko. Um, I'm trying to go get the Marty McFly pop. I found out that uh, they had 60 of them this morning. I had to go to work. My wife just called over there about, whoo, good lord, I think about 40 minutes ago, and there was a total of 17 left, and they're first come, first serve. You're allowed to buy two max, and that's the one fan expo pop that I really want to get. So I'm racing over there right now, hoping that I get there before the last 17 are gone. You got the neon tomato, and I didn't see what the other part of it was. Awesome. Yeah, I went out pump, uh, Funko hunting yesterday with for the Walgreens. I got the Bigfoot and the Joffrey. Nice! Yeah, I didn't get those. I wanted the Joffrey. Um, but, unfortunately, I woke up late. <laughs> so, I missed it. Um, but, uh, and then after the fiasco that happened with Joffrey yesterday, I, I applaud Funko for what they did yesterday about screwing the uh, bots and stuff like that. I know some people were mad about it, but I, I think it was a fantastic thing. Oh, we just hit traffic. We are stopped. Mega Man from GameStop. Nice. Yeah, I didn't try for the Mega Man. I don't. I, I'm not big on the uh, the 8-bit um, collection. So, but yeah, that's a good haul. I tried to do the Walgreens pops yesterday. I'm gonna have a video coming up, um, probably later today, maybe if not tomorrow, um, for the. Uh, I'm trying to get at least the invisible man and the devil from walgreens from the, the the nightmare before christmas one they've been sold out at all the walgreens around me and i talked to everybody and they said that as soon as they come in they're gone within a couple hours so i'm going to keep hunting those see if i can find them but um yeah i didn't have any luck with that tomato flocked good luck bear oh nice good job dude you had a really good haul Oh. So yeah, my birthday is tomorrow, so I used as an excuse with my my uh, boss. We were setting up a new store, working retail, and I was like, "Hey, once we get the uh, the heavy lifting done, can I get the heck out of here?" Um, and he's, he kept trying to give me more stuff to do, and I'm like, "Hey, I got to work on my birthday. Let me go, because I really want to get that Marty McFly pop." Thank you, thank you for the happy birthday. I have to work all day for it, so. That was my excuse. Uh, traffic sucks in Southern California. I don't know where you, where everybody else is from, but it's only 1:30 and traffic's already backing up. I'm still at least probably 15, 20 minutes away from. Well, no. New York, nice. That's actually my wife's favorite place to be. That's where me and her got uh, engaged. Was at the uh, Bethesda Fountain in uh, in Central Park. So New York is definitely one of our favorite places. But and I know traffic's not great in New York either, <laughs> especially if you're in the city. But what's gonna suck is if uh, my racing down there and I get there and the last two just sold. So I'm really hoping, I, the reason I'm going to this, so there's the closest FYEs to where I live, they're, they're like a good 40 minute gap between the two of them. There's not a lot of FYEs around me. Um, the one that was actually closer to where I was working or where I, where I was setting up the store an hour ago had, I love Toy Tokyo. Um, I checked them out when I went, we actually went over there. That was a, a, like a spot to go check out. I just love the look of it. But yeah, you're right, they are expensive um, to try and get them online. But that's, it's almost, it's almost playing, for, for me it's almost paying flipper prices at times with Toy Tokyo, that's how it feels. But they get those exclusives. About to jump off here and take streets. But yeah, the um, the FYE that was closer to where I was actually working, um, 
they only had two of the Marty McFlys left, and had I gone there first and missed out, then I would have been an hour away from the one I'm trying to go to, so I'm hoping that I made the right decision. I guess I could have tried to pull the, uh, it's my birthday tomorrow car, can't you just hold at least one for me? But I don't think they would have cared. <laughs> Yeah, I had, a, I had a decent haul yesterday, even though I didn't get um, the Walgreens Pops I was looking for. I was able to pick up some stuff that uh, we pre-ordered from Box Lunch and Hot Topic. So I got the the vinyl Jack Skellington head. That thing is awesome looking. The detail of, of the, um, the trees. Yeah, I missed out on Stinkor as well. I was pissed because the sight froze on me. Funny thing was, I went to FYE yesterday. Of course, they didn't have any stink wars, but they still had a. Um, oh God, I can't remember the character's name. The the blue guy from from uh, Doug, his best friend. They still have one of him left, and I haven't seen those anywhere. I didn't pick it up because I was I, I haven't been collecting the Doug funny ones. Before he sold out of Brandon Stempy Dorbs. Yeah, I don't, a Skeeter, yes. They had one Skeeter left over there. I didn't pick it up. They had about six of the uh, the Gargoyles and Stone, Bronx and uh, uh, the two-pack. So I grabbed that because I loved growing up with, with Gargoyles. But now since I got that two-pack, I need to go over to Hot Topic and get the uh, Demona in, sto in Stone. Which there's a bunch of those. Uh, Hot Topic, you can get whatever their exclusives are, whatever. It's, it's, it's frustrating to see FYE and Barnes & Noble sell out of their stuff, mainly because their sites, I feel, drop the ball where they get frozen up, versus Hot Topic and Entertainment Earth and Box Lunch still have their SDCC stuff exclusive, uh, um, dropping. Like, it just, future, future convention exclusives for those three stores, I'm just not gonna try the midnight releases on them. I'll just wait because I know that they'll get them again in a week. So the hunt went pretty easy out in New York. Did you do all your stuff online to, or did you go into some stores to, uh, to get your stuff? to myself number called you I get those all the time from telemarketers it wasn't me I promise <laughs> right. so I have now jumped on streets to try and cut around the traffic um, yeah before you jumped out did uh, did you get all your stuff online or did you actually go into uh, well of course you got the the three Funko shops online, but did you go out to, to pick up your other items? Like Toy Tokyo, or did you buy it online? Okay. Yeah, we tried to get the Marty McFly right now because he just released online, but of course, that uh, went really quick. This is, this is boring to watch just me driving, but hopefully it'll be me getting to the FYE store soon so you can kind of see if they have them there, or how many they have. It's always, it's always a much more gratifying video, I think, when you see the person get what they're looking for. I have yet to have one of those videos yet, however, <laughs> so <laughs> I just don't have that skill. I 
haven't seen the Chrome Predator yet. I'll have to check that out. Oop. And it fell. I don't have my phone mounted. I just have it standing on its kickstand. And when you step on the gas to try and get moving, the phone doesn't want to stay standing up. never driven so fast just to get a, a collectible item. Yeah, I wasn't... I like the, the, the bloody variants, but they're so similar. It's just a blood splatter on them, so I don't usually get them. So they're not like, yeah, like you, where you'd rather get it next week. It's not a rush to get it because it's kind of like the diamond pops that they have for freaking Hot Topic, which is ridiculous, just coating them in, in, in glitter and reselling them. Um, I refuse to buy those ones, but the people that go nuts over those, it's like, why? That's the one place where Funko gets you. Repaints and repaints and repaints. I love when you get new molds and new new action poses and things like that. Phone call. I'm gonna hit uh, decline. The the Mickey Mouse diamond. I haven't seen that one, but I. Every time I see the. Uh, um, every time I see the. Yeah, the Diamond Jack, I know. I. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think of it. I love the Jack's Gun. That's, that's mainly what I bought yesterday when I went on my hunt was different uh, Nightmare Before Christmas pops. We got the Harley Quinn uh, Demon, we got the Clown. Um, oh, you want the Diamond Jack? It, is it just because it's Jack Skellington, or do you want the shiny? Because he's all shiny. I don't blame anybody for getting the stuff that they like and, and, and want. I mean, there's a reason that Funko makes the stuff. I just think it's, uh, my wife, the way my wife said it was she could, she could do what they're doing to the Diamond Jack, uh, herself at home. So, do you have any of the diamond collectibles? Because I'm curious as to if the glitter actually stays on them or if it falls off. I do want the the go in the dark Harley Quinn demon pop. That would be awesome. We got the uh, we, the other thing we picked up was the um, oh god zero and his doghouse movie moment from Box Lunch, and then we got the. Uh, Snowman Jack. I've got both um, both of the Jacks, not the Diamond, but the the Dia de, Dia of the Dead Jack, the Dia, Dia de las Muertes Jack, and I've got the um, Christmas Jack where he's got Spot or not Spot Zero drawn on his face. I have those pre uh, ordered. They're supposed to come in, I think, today at Hot Topic. So hopefully I get the confirmation to go pick those up. Let's see what the freeway looks like. It is still backed up, so thank God I took streets. I cut off probably a If I had multiple FYEs around me, I'd be less rushing. But since there's only one really in my specific area, that means that's where all the. And, and it's pretty heavy traffic in my specific area, so that means a lot of people are probably going to. Um, 
I mean, if they had 60 to start this morning and are, we're down to 17 and now an hour ago, uh, it means a lot of people already came out and bought. The benefit is that they're only letting people buy uh, two per person, so people can't, uh, flippers can't go in and just buy all of them. hunt video ever live with geek, geek guidepost just watching me stare off into the sunset and drive which had like facts about Funko or something to just uh, make it entertaining still there it says zero watching that's why I didn't know oh, there it is it's back to one <laughs> it's like I got no <coughs> excuse me I was like I got nobody to talk to so I'm just gonna sit here and have people just watch me drive this is California just drive and drive and drive all right looks like the freeway picked up a little bit so I'm gonna jump back on there I usually try and get like unboxing videos out and stuff for people to watch so I can keep content up on the channel um, but I didn't get this month's loot crate because I didn't really like the theme uh, the item the, 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 the theme for the items coming um, but I did get the loot crate DX and we just got the email a couple days ago that it got pushed back another month it's into a fight with the GameStop employee for not getting a chase I put a predator chase were they just trying to hold it from you? And hide it or because uh, that's not cool although I did have a situation where when the Deadpool uh, when the Deadpool 7-eleven pop came out one of the workers I talked to another hunt that I did that I didn't actually get the, the thing um, oh good glad you got the chase um, but the worker was telling me that somebody came in and was like trying to fight him because they were like, I know you've got behind the desk and they hadn't received the Deadpools because somebody dropped the ball. I don't know if it was 7-Eleven or the Deadpools never actually received them. They actually got a note from the warehouse telling them uh, that they ran out of them before they could fulfill all orders, which, you know, I tried calling out. I, I sent out a tweet on that asking, um, who dropped the ball? Was it was it 7-Eleven lying so that they could you know hold on to them and flip them, or was it uh, Funko not filling orders that were that were done because it, it wasn't cool? Because we lived generally it, I, it, basically the entire area I lived in, which is a pretty large city. I live out in what's called the Inland Empire, um, Southern California. It's a huge, huge amount of people that live out here, and to not get any Deadpools out in this area was pretty ridiculous. So, I mean, somebody screwed it up somewhere. I, I mean, I didn't talk to one one worker, but at least she was honest, but she said if they would have gotten them, she, there's no way that she would have uh, she would have released them to the public. She would have taken, bought them all herself, seeing what the supply and demand was for them, and she would have flipped them on eBay, which sucks. But... <laughs> I can't get mad at somebody for actually telling the truth.
<laughs> See, that's one thing with GameStop around here. My GameStops are pretty cool, but um, we are just, there's just like a GameStop on, on almost every corner out where I live. So if you don't like one, you go to the other one. And it's a, um, it's a revolving cast of workers there because nobody stays at, at GameStop for their career out here. So. Yeah, I think in my radius alone, within a probably, I'd say a, a 15 mile radius, 20 mile radius of, of where I live, there's at least probably 10 GameStops. We got a couple malls around us and they've got a GameStop and then you've got a GameStop that's like across the street from the mall. <clears throat> I am about 10 minutes away from FYE. actually made some pretty good time. This is about, if I would have stayed in, tra in traffic, it probably would have about an hour, hour long drive. I got here about 40 minutes, I guess. So it pays to know streets out in California. California definitely pays to know the shortcuts around the freeways so that when they get black, backed up, you're not stuck in gridlock. I'd be pissed if they forgot to call you. We have the Carmen San Diego vanishing pop on, on uh, pre-order from GameStop. And that one just keeps getting pushed back. At first we were, we were afraid we were going to be able to get it because we pre-ordered it and it was supposed to drop the same time as uh, San Diego Comic Con and that's where we would have been. So, of course, we're not going to leave San Diego Comic Con just to come back and pick up a Carmen San Diego pop, but now I think it's back to like September or November. They pushed it back to, so it's supposed to come out all the way back in July. I, I feel that happens a lot with Funko and GameStop that the exclusives that they have on pre order get pushed back like months before they're available. I don't know if I've actually I've ever actually had a GameStop exclusive that came out the, the original date that it was expected to come out. Alright, so the exit I'm getting off is right in front of me and I need people to move. I have important places to be. I have to pick up a a vinyl toy. Much more important than wherever you have to go. A kid, of course. See, the GameStops by me don't mess up the pre-orders, but they definitely have their favorites of people already, so they definitely set aside all the chases and everything for for specific people. That's the one thing I've, I've found, so, and I haven't been able to figure out how to rub elbows with them better to have them start putting some stuff aside for me. Um, of course, I am not going to pay more to have them put stuff aside for me. I just don't think that's fair. When it comes to Funko hunting, that's part of the thrill, is the chase and finding things. I mean, I was kind of spoiled from the beginning. The very first Funko I ever bought was a chase. And this was, of course, before Funko became a big thing. I was at uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. It was probably about, I don't know, 11 years ago, 12 years ago. and. Uh, they had the wall of DC comic book heroes Funkos and uh, I was buying the Batgirl for my wife, my girlfriend at the time which is my wife now and there happened to be a chase there I was like let's get the chase you know chases always mean they're, they're limited there's less of them never thinking anything was going to come of it 
and lo and behold that's a pop that's worth like a thousand dollars now and now i wish i had bought that whole wall of pops because that was all the old green lanterns and and the old batmans and and all that stuff it's just hindsight's 50 50. wishing uh never knowing that that funko was going to blow up like this the other one and then the other time the second time that i purchased funko was i was at san diego comic-con years ago and we went to the Funko booth because I was like, hey, look, it's the booth of that that little bat, that Batgirl figure I bought you. And that was the year that they had Headless Ned Stark. And so they're like, yeah, everybody wants the Headless Ned Stark. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's Yeah, I'll buy one of those. Lo and behold, Headless Ned Stark's worth like 3000 now. It's, it, it's nuts that the first two Funkos I ever bought were some of the most sought after collectors and not even... You know that's that's the whole that's the whole thrill of collecting is that you buy something because you like it and I love Game of Thrones and I thought that was a really cool pop the the headless Ned Stark um, to which I also purchased the metallic Ghost Rider that year so you know I just started I just bought stuff that I liked and then and then to see that other people like it as well and there's something that you can have a common common personality over common shared over over thing and a whole community of people to talk to with. It's, uh, it's awesome. I love geeking out and nerding out with other people. Okay, we are parked. We're here. Let's go in the FYE and see if they have the stuff. I'll have to pull this out with me. Crazy camera work. <sighs> Let's flip this camera around because I'm sure people don't want to stare at my face. Check for Bloody Michael Miles. We'll see if they have it. Here we go. It is so stinking hot out here. I the I was here yesterday. They didn't have the Rin and Snippy Dorbs. I know that, but I didn't check about the My Bloody Michael Myers. So my next major purchase um, is going to be with a gimbal so that my camera is not bouncing up and down when I'm recording. <laughs> and up the escalator. We have no time to sit and wait. Right, where's the FYE? There it is. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Fingers crossed. They still have Marty. There's FYE. There's people in here. Oh, they have them. Behind the desk, there he is. I'm gonna pick up my two of those. Um, I don't see Michael Myers. Here's all their, what they do here is they put all their popular ones. And I just think all the Michael Myers are sold out already. I do have the pickle, Rick. Right there. I have a ton of them. go buy my uh <sighs> I wish they had stink over here too but of course that's not here 
do have. Let's see. We have the lockjaw. Crazy numbers. I'll see if they got the bloody microwaves. Sorry about the crazy camera work. Let's switch over camera. So you're not just staring at the back of somebody else. down to 15% trap jaw that's what I meant yeah sorry instead lock jaw down to 15% so hopefully uh, my phone doesn't die while we're doing this if you want to come back and see the results of stuff make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see when I go live <laughs> again So they still have the same 17 that they said they had before. So if anybody is out in the Southern California area and they want to get the Marty McFly pop, FYE in Reno Valley still has some left. Um, probably going to be your best chance to be able to grab them. For out in this area at least. Get ready to purchase. <laughs> Hello. Hey there, man. Can I get two of the Marty McFlies? Yeah, sure. I raced my ass over here. <laughs> Heard you guys had 60 this morning, and then they, uh... I was surprised they got that many. I, yeah, the, me the too. Last time, uh, the last couple conventions, they only got about, like, 34 each. Yeah, that was really surprising to get that number. Did you guys have the Bloody Michael Myers yet, or...? Not yet, but I'm still doing reservations on that if you want to reserve it. No, nah, uh, I'm streaming right now live, so somebody told me to ask. <laughs> nope, didn't get the Bloody Michael Myers yet. Right. Did you want a bag for 10 cents, man? Uh, no, it's fine. Did you have a discount card? No. Okay, do you have the chip? Yes. When the STCC pops came out, how many did you guys get? Like 30 of those? Or did you get any of the stink cores or anything? Or? I, I, I believe I only got a case of those, which is about 30 or so. How quick did those go? Those those went out. The, the skeeters last until the next day. Okay. And, and these may be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? Probably at the at the bigger at the busiest. The probably. Ontario one only had two left when we called like an hour oh, ago. Oh, the Montclair one. Uh, it was a Montclair. My wife my wife called Ontario or something. she said Ontario, but maybe it was Montclair. So they only had two left. Yeah, that like right. So that's why I raced over here because I was like, you guys have better odds because she called here too. Yeah, the LA area stores always run out before we do. Yeah, of course. I think the benefit of, of them doing it at Universal Studios as well helped out with the, the out this way. So, but yeah, they were releasing at Universal. So, thank you so much. Okay. Oi. My uh, fingers are in the way, but I got them. One for me, one for my other major Back to the Future fan, fan friend. So. I'll pop these guys, I'll pop one of them open when we get into the car so you can get a little bit of an unboxing, see what he looks like up close. Then I can also plug in so that my phone doesn't die. <clears throat> so excited. That, uh, that makes up for having to work on my birthday. <laughs>
didn't have to race here for nothing. STS Funko Vlogger, I'm going to say you're the good luck for me get, having my first video where the thing that I was hunting for I actually got. So I give you kudos. Yeah, hopefully this is the starting of a streak where I can go to Walgreens and get the ones that I'm trying to find there. <laughs> they did get their trucks yesterday, so maybe they did get some more of the Funko Pops in over at Walgreens. See, I look like Thor, but shave and forgot to shave the rest. <laughs> Uh, my my beard is a wild and crazy thing and usually if my hair gets long it gets curly seems to happen the same thing in my beard which uh, makes it really hard to maintain and keep proper I use beard oil and all that stuff but it still turns into like a fro on my face all right let's get inside <clears throat> all right we're plugged in so it's not gonna die all right we got it we got the marty mcfly funko pop Let's bring this a little bit closer Let's see better it's a terrible terrible it's one of them um, has the old Back to the Future stuff on there, so let me pop this open. What's your question, SDS? So it's a really cool pop. The, the amount of details on it, however, you can't really see it in the sun, but the painting isn't as clean as I usually would like to see on a pop. It is bleeding a little bit on the guitar, but this is awesome. Love this pop. Yeah, it's a little chipped on his paint up by the ear and stuff. So I'll do a, uh, a more legit unboxing when I have better lighting and everything. You do Funko content, STS? I'll definitely go check out your channel and send you a subscribe. Um, I enjoy... Uh, uh, thank you for, for being part of this journey with me as I went out to grab this stuff. And uh, that's it. Um, now it's just the drive home. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, I, I, I try, I try, I'm really trying. Mm -hmm. I know it's a new channel. Uh, any, any feedback that I can get from people to get better, um, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you want to share me with others, I, I, I'm part of another channel that we've been doing for over a year. This is just my own personal vlog, but we have a channel called Malice Corp. It's a, it's a podcast channel on YouTube and it's on Twitch as well but it's just talking all things nerd and, and just having fun and being part of a geek community. So, um, that was you. Yes, you were in the, the, the other FYE uh, when I was at SDCC. I couldn't figure out who that was. <laughs> well, thank you for coming back and joining me for, the, for, the, uh, for this uh, stream. Um, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm gonna go home and I gotta change, I got a dinner tonight. Uh, I will definitely check out your channel and uh, get, you, get you a subscribe over there because I, I greatly appreciate you being over here and I, I like supporting fellow fellow Funko vloggers. Um, so I'll definitely go check you out. Thank you for coming back and 
I, uh, I'm gonna move along. I got a Benihana dinner. I gotta go get myself. I was moving beds all day and throwing them around so I'm sweaty and stinky. And I'm just in cloud nine right now being able to get the, I really, when, when they talked about these, the ones that were being released from Funko, this was the main one. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. I have, I don't know if, you, if you've watched a lot of my other videos, but I have a, a nerd rant about the, ba the Back to the Future 4 rumor that was going on a few months back. But, um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Anybody else that watches this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if uh, you wanna see more of my video content. Hit the like, the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please hit that thumbs down. Let me know why, because I, I would love feedback to get better. That, that's my whole purpose here. And lastly, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell the notification so you know when I go live or when I have other videos. Um, thank you everybody for joining me on the live stream. Thank you, STS Funko. Um, and everybody else, go check out STS Funko. Check out their content and uh, hit, give them a subscribe. So. Um, with that, you guys keep nerding on, and I will see you shortly.